Okay, I am at the entrance gate to Kirka Falls, 875 meters. They said it's a 10 minute walk. Well, they don't know how well I walk. Uh, now, the road or the footpath. We'll take the footpath. Alright, Achtung! Attention! Fire! Okay. Well, I can hear the falls. Yeah, I saw all those people like sweating like they had run a marathon. And so, obviously, the full 850 meters is downhill this way, uphill the other way. So, well, the river comes down here. Some of it filters into there, and the rest is diverted. There's no sign so far at all. Well, this just said, said it was a footbridge. map in here doesn't give any details. I'll go through and look again. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, nice to jump into on a hot day. Saturday, the 19th of October, and I guess this is not the Nikolai Tesla shop. Water. See, when you direct the water like that, it increases, it's like putting it through a pipe, it increases the pressure and the force as well as making it very directional. So we don't need as much water to, to move the generator. Look at this. Holy cow. There's a drain there of some sort. Another drain here. Well, I'll get this guy to explain it. Maybe they have a movie in there. It looks like they had seats. Alright, here we go. In the area of Kirka River, all the way up to the 1960s, almost every family produced cloth and sheep wool. Personal oil, cloth, and cloth. And there we go. Hey. being turned by the water. Put it in there. See the oats? Put it in here. We're going to grind it out and powder. Huh. Did you know?
this water is being diverted. So that water is not being used. Path over there, water. This is the mill that I just went through where it grinds the powder. Water goes down that waterfall. Another one over here. And hopefully, this is the best one. Kids will be kids all over the world. Watch this little guy here when he goes up. <laughs> He's being a skateboarder. Yeah, Kuroche is a funny place. It's it's got a mix of people. There's some uh, uh, some friendly people, but there are some real real. I don't want to call them kooks, but they're just uh, socially retarded. Yeah. All right. Well, it's not Niagara Falls, but it's very nice. Probably go over a barrel and leave to survive. Water coming down over there too. You see, it's creating a mist, a mist and a rainbow. Hydroelectric Kirka was the first Croatian hydroelectric alternate and current. Its buildings, builders and investors were Sibenik Mayor Anti Supic. Outside of Sibenik, S I B E N I K. It's about uh, an hour north of Split. I'm guessing, because I haven't been to Split yet. I'm, I'm going there next. And they have the, uh, the Nikolai Tesla. I told them at the gate I was coming here to see the uh, hydroelectric dam. And they're like, the girl understood me just fine. She said, okay, and this is it here. They have it shut down for repairs. So... So I want to break in, and I'm not going to. It's all closed off. Sounding off. You can see the water came down here. And how it was organized. I have no idea. You can see how big the turbines were right there. You can see where the water came in and turned it. Now. No, 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 I've been sitting in there or here. I just can't figure it out. You get a better idea here. I could jump up here if I wanted to, but I'm not going to freak people out. Can't really tell much anyways. I don't know what they're renovating. You can see where the water would go through there. Over there was a reservoir. Now, there's really nothing here. It's been all dismantled, all taken apart. If I want to go for a ride, go up and take a look up there. Boy, it's wet in here. <laughs>
moon is over there. It's pretty cold. I didn't even know about this place. I was at uh, dinner last night and I was talking to the South African kid who works on that boat. He was telling me he came here, saw the hydroelectric dam of Tesla, the waterfall, said it was a really good, good visit. And they give this brochure and I'm reading through it. And they've got this island you can go to, a monastery, which is pretty cool looking. Uh, Let's see if it comes out. See it. It's almost like what they have in Slovenia there, which has a church on it, and uh, and there's also uh, Roman ruins, and they uh, from a from an encampment there, which would have been pretty cool. They do a whole bunch of uh, reenactments. Right there. Some of the stuff's probably rebuilt. Looks too good. Um, but it's uh, the size of this place is enormous. It goes, yeah, like from one end to the other. It's 66 kilometers from the part I'm going to the farthest part up to Kinin. To the monastery, it's 42. It's a two and a half hour boat ride. And they said the last boat ride was at 2 o'clock, so I missed it. Otherwise, I would have done it. And to the Roman ruins, it's 50 kilometers. So that's, uh, you know, 30 miles. So, uh, something to keep in mind for if there's a next time. Or if anybody I know goes, I'll tell them. To, I mean, you might not even be able to fit this in it a day. Depending on how much of it you want to see. But just get out into nature. There's miles and miles of walking paths. So for it cost 80 local money, which and I think is a family pass or a group pass. So uh, yeah, beautiful day, beautiful day. It's a nice drive down, except for that ticket. I left uh, 9 a.m. I got here around through just before three. By the time I came down here. So now I'm going to go on to split. The kid also last night was saying Zadar, I think he said, which is uh, north of here, I think. It's either north of here or just south of here. I'm going to have to look on the map. He was saying he liked that better than split, so maybe I'll hit that on the way back. You uh, have the option of hiking in and out in the valley. And they have benches here. And then all the people are sitting down. I'm like, get up! No, I didn't, I didn't. Two entrances. This is the Skr... Skradinsky. And the other side is... like Lomovo or something like that. Hey, this is what I was talking about before. Is, uh... the downside of making the trip on the fly is you have it like this happen where you go to a cool place and you're only there a few hours because it's the end of the day. They close at 6 and I could have gone further in on the park but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the daylight to get down to split because it's about an hour away.